All right, so today we're going to do a little video on how to remove a run, a paint run in uh, an automotive finish here. I don't know if you can see it, but I painted this hood a while back, and it's got a little, little run action going on here. So I'm going to try an old trick. We're going to see if it works. This paint's more than cured. paint's probably a month and a half old now. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to mix up some polyester putty. I'm going to put polyester putty over the um, low area of the run. So let's go ahead and get some mixed up and we'll go ahead and, and put some on there. Give this a try. Alright, so we got a little putty mixed here. I just got a little razor scraper. I'm just going to scrape some off here. Peel a little bit back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it over this whole area here. Just like that. We'll let that sit on there a few minutes and dry. We'll get the uh, slag off the edge here because they're not going to be wet sanding on the edge. And we don't want to wet sand on the edge. Alright, we'll let that sit up a couple minutes and then we'll go ahead and start sanding. Now that the putty's been dry, is what I've been doing is sanding this with a piece of 320 here. <clears throat> now you can see right here, where my finger is, is where there was a run. A little bit down along the bottom, right there, in some of this area. But we got to lay off of this area before we go through the clear coat. So now is what you want to do is you just want to concentrate on just sanding just where the putty is. Now that the whole area is nice and smooth. I mean, this is, you know, a little time-consuming. You know, I've been seeing it on this for a couple minutes now. But you just want to concentrate on just where that putty is. Now, is what the putty does, it gives you a semi of a level surface to work with. And when you're sanding, it's, it's also sanding um, on the actual run, the paint run, and not as much on the... Uh, rest of the finish that you don't want to mess around with. Now that's probably what I'm going to do now. I'm going to jump right to uh, 800 grit. And you see I'm keeping this paper nice and wet. But then we'll jump to 800 grit. And then we'll keep sanding. All right, now we're using 2,000 grit. I'm still just trying to concentrate on where the putty is. This is where it gets a little tricky. Because if I go through, that's it. Done. And we're going to be repainting either the whole hood or, or the corner of this hood. And it's really hard to blend a hood nothing you're supposed to do so like I said just got to concentrate on just where the putty is just sand the putty if you can help it So we got just about 100% of that putty off there. There was a couple spots I just noticed where uh, there was a couple little 320 scratches. So I'm just trying to get them out with some 2000. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of compound and just hand rub this out. So I just took a little bit of 3M compound just dabbed it on a rag here. And now we'll just start hand rubbing it. Don't be scared to use a lot of compound.
I am pushing pretty firmly on this. No more run. Just do a little bit of rubbing. You can see a little hazy spot right here. So I'll just do a little bit more. A little more compound on the rag here. And believe me guys, this isn't as easy as it looks. But this is my first time doing this like this. I've heard of the trick. Never tried it. And I said, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity right here. So I figured I'd make a little video for you guys. If I screw up, I screw up. But I think we've about got it. So there we go. No more run. I mean, you can still just see very, very little bit of where it was. Very little. But that looks a lot better than that big ass drip. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.